be proud of. That's a great weight. Yeah. Because <laughs> Fishing Babe here had me up to 230 at one point. You did. I was mm -hmm. 230 pounds, but I've lost it all. Well, you know Thank what that's God. called in the medical field? That's called an insurance policy. Ah, uh, well. So I'll get you back up there again. I know. We'll get back up there at some point. Mm -hmm. Hey, fire chick, how the fuck are you? Oh, should I make the announcement of where you're going to go here in the next couple of days? And then maybe. Um, no, 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 not, no, not yet. No, nope, there's not. Um, there's going to be no advanced warning. We got schedules we have to pull together. And I think we're going to cover a lot of stuff tonight that would have been covered there. Um, and if that situation happens, that's kind of um, like a one topic thing. You know what I mean? Like that's the main focal point of that conversation. Uh, so we'd like to. You have not to listen. Let you got to speak in non-technical terms or you're going to lose my audience. They're a bunch of fucking. Yeah. All right. I oh, one second. Yeah. So fast. Soul wreck. It means whatever Candy wants, because this is the topic we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna discuss. Uh, it's Candy's world. My world is Candy's world. I live by Candy's rules, Candy's court. That's how I roll. Just like everyone else is individual. So I hope that answers yeah. your question. You're in Candyland, motherfucker. Suck it up. Woo! Welcome to Candyland, you fuckers. You don't like you it? Like I don't care. care. I don't like you. Get the fuck out of here. Thumbs me down on something and kick rocks, bitches. That's what I say. Yeah. We're in Candyland. Shit, I should rename this to Candyland. <laughs> but so yeah so that's kind of more for a one uh, it was one topic and there would have been additional time or whatever to speak but i'm glad because that's a little more serious topic than boy stuff like that's really real life stuff that's going to be discussed there so i'm glad that we can do this um i do want to address a couple of things um i'm receiving messages and i'm so glad that i am receiving the messages guys um please know your information is always confidential with me sweetie it always it always will be. Um, as far as domestic violence stuff, there is a 1-800 number that goes through all 50 states, even Alaska and Canada. If you guys are in need of that, I suggest you call that. They can help you with a placement and an interview. I want you to know that there are a lot of people out there that can help you guys, man or woman. It doesn't matter how many children you have, there's always resources to assist you. What I would recommend is building a safety plan. And in that safety plan, always have that handy. Yeah, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to mute, okay, if you're doing that, because I don't want to interrupt stuff and people to misinformation, you know. Oh so if you God. go into a little coughing thing, well, domestic violence is serious. It's serious. This is, yeah. and I've received a lot of emails. Um, some people do need some assistance, and I want you to know. I know I can't reach out and help you because this is the internet, but I can give you the resources to help you help yourself, okay? Um, that one eight hundred number will connect you to anyone in the United States twenty four hours a day, okay? And someone's always there to listen. I would suggest developing a safety plan, have copies of your birth certificates, your social security cards, and any immunizations that your children and you have had. That's just that's just normal protocol. You need that in an emergency situation like hurricane, flood, fire, earthquake. So it's always good to have that kind of handy. So I just want to put that out there. I received all the emails. Everything's confidential. Do you want me to um, put a banner in the bottom, have a scroll across the bottom of the screen with a phone number? For what is it, domestic? Yeah, it's a domestic violence. It's the 1-800 number. And no, because it's very, they have different, um, once they go on the website, they get the number, but it literally goes down state by state and tells them who to call next, who other places they can call in their area by zip code. So individuals can go into this place and type in their zip code and get local agencies that are available. Okay, okay. I was gonna, okay. Post a, I was gonna have, a, have a bottom screen scroll and shit, but all right. Yeah, so. I guess I won't. Sorry, Jay Money, I have to switch this up a little bit because I have to document how many times they clone my account and I need to show a little bit of change so that it shows a pattern because everything is digital imprinted and every time they copy my account, I have to show, you know, it just distinguishes a little bit differently. So it's just for, it will be changed a couple different things. So, <laughs> so. No, I don't so. Do you? I don't know who, who's soul wreck, what they're trying to imply. They're fucking, they're a, it's a troll, I'll bet money. Okay, so for um, the next thing, so to Oda, um, the I believe it was last stream or the stream prior to that, I was on a roll. I You have to understand when people come at me with things, I fight back. There's a lot of people that have been abused here on the boy and they cross over into the drama, but they've been abused by these same people. No, I'm not saying Oda, I'm saying by the same, pe same group of clicky, miserable women. And the thing is they haven't had the platform to be able to speak out 
or to speak up. So these bullies have gotten away with it. And these bullies are not children, you know, school time, high school bullies. These are grown women behind their keyboards attacking beautiful women. And it's just because of je pure jealousy. I will always go after these haters. Always. I will always uh, rebut them. And I will always win because like I said, it's Candy's world, Candy's rule, Candy's court. It's my way. I don't care about any other way. That's it. <laughs> and that's yeah. how everyone, everyone should live their life. If you're not happy, get your situation better. Okay. Um, so yeah, we got a troll with that soul wreck. 86 you out of here, soul wreck. There's nothing you can say to stop me. I'm on a roll and I ain't going nowhere and I'm not stopping. I'm going to go after your leaders until the day I die. <laughs> I do want to, um, so, okay. So we the domestic violence. So for Oda, I do want to, I know you're talking a lot of crap about me. I know it. Okay. That's the nature of the beast. I know they impulsed you into giving information, although you know you don't have any information on me. We both know that. And so you probably do need the thousands of dollars or whatever. They're never going to pay it. But I do want you to know that that, I, that was not really nice of me to call you that name. Okay. It's not my business how you make your money to live. Okay. It is my business when you're making fun of a patient who is very close to me who will never leave that hospital room alive, okay? So, and I don't care what anybody else thinks. Again, it goes into, I love how people were referencing the HIPAA stuff. Please, you guys weren't worried about HIPAA when you were t making fun of Dave's um, doctor's videos and all that. None of you really knew or even cared. You kind of laughed at HIPAA. So let me tell you about it. HIPAA in my world is my way. I do what I want, when I want, say what I want, how I want it, when I want it, to whoever I want it that's attacking me. And that's how it rolls. That's how it is in Candy's world. I don't lose sleep over you people. I have people, I have a team of people documenting stuff that you do. And it's going to get fun because I promise the show is going to be something Boyd has never seen before when in a conclusion. And then I'm going to ride off into the sunset and get on my yacht and go save the coral reef. <laughs> I, will yeah. tell my, I, I will tell our loyal people that I will be, you know, a little more busier in the coming um, weeks after this following week, things are getting finally opened up in California and international waters are getting opened up. So I will be on the sea. And I'm so excited because the sea is where I find me and it's the best place to be. And I'm You're so poet. excited about that. I'm very excited. So <laughs> I just want everyone to know that. Um, let's see. Okay. I want another topic. <laughs> I want to go into this. So you know, oh, also, Oda, I'll let you know, I did, I unblocked you from this. So you feel free to come in and have a field day with Dave and communicate however you do or whatever. That's all on you, you know, your right. relationship with him. So There's that's, no I just want that out there. Well, no, you've known each other for years. So two, maybe. You, oh, I thought it was six. No, fuck no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so she's new. Just, I know Gerald longer. Fuck. I would have shut up about time someone like Jay Money showed up. Tinker, I'm going to go down near Guam, <laughs> but I'll be on international water. So I'm excited. I've been waiting for them to open that up. Guam is like its own little world, guys. It's beautiful. I know you hear some bad things about it. It's a very poor place, but it's the quality of people are amazing. And I've been waiting to get back down there for almost a year. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so we got the Oda situation done. We got the other person done. Okay. Um, and yes, for the other messages that I'm receiving, the different things. Okay, I want you guys to know, and our loyal people to know, and who you guys can, people can record this all they want, whatever. But behind the scenes, I'm being treated horribly. The verbal abuse that I encounter is shattering to me, okay? And I'm, when, I, when I say behind the scenes and stuff, I mean off the platform, like, you know, when we're not on lives and stuff like that. And I'm receiving a lot of verbal abuse. I'm receiving it all hours of the day. From and, and I'm simply because i have a very strong opinion on a topic okay i have a strong opinion on a topic now like i said i won't sway from this topic from my opinion no one will ever brainwash me or try to control my mind or my thinking by minute threats to me that won't ever happen my opinion stands and if people don't like it or don't like what i say you don't have to like it you don't have to agree that's fine but i will never sway on that and if that means it's the end then that's the end I'm okay with that. I'm prepared for that. I've been preparing myself for that. No one's going to brainwash me. No one's going to verbally abuse me behind the scenes. Not because it's not people in our chat. I just want people to know that. Um, I know some things were said and um, there's the relation. Who? I said, oh. welcome to the boy. That's how, people, that's how it is down here. I, I, I warned you. Yeah. A lot of so, shit talkers. 
Yeah, but I'm talking close to home too. Like, you know, there's different things, you know, like not of, I, I don't know if they're supporters or what they are, but um, my opinion on who I say our opinions for, that's not going to change. No one's going to change me. Okay. And it's just that simple. It's just, you know, because um, yeah, it, you okay. do not get no. to control people's minds. It's the internet. People think how they want to think. So, you know, take that for whatever it's worth. That's just, you know what but I honey, mean? <laughs> honey, honey, you got to understand that there's people down here that don't have any real content. They live in a miserable existence. It's the truth. So what they do is they take other people's content and put it on their fucking channel. By the way, there are four outbound strikes right now on four, on two channels. And there are six more coming tonight. So if you steal my content, you will be struck down. Just giving you a warning right now. But there are One's four channel is going to be down very soon. So yeah, so. yep. And this is the thing. I'm not tolerating any more narcissistic bullshit. I'm not. I'm not going to tolerate it behind the scenes, off the platform, on the platform, you're you're not going to manipulate or brainwash me into believing that one way is the only way. I have my own opinion. I was raised by a great family. They filled me with so much love that I don't need any of this. I can log off from this and never look back and not care. I'm Yeah, I will miss my people, my loyal people. But just know if that ever happens, guys, I do think of you. I will always think of you. This was an this was a experience, you know, experience I will always take with me. I've learned, I've loved, and you know, you just that's life. But I want to make this clear separately. This goes back into the it can turn into the domestic violence um, training stuff to help the ladies. If a man or a woman is not ride or die for you, for that man or woman, don't be ride or die for them. If they leave you hanging numerous times, don't be ride or die for them. Don't hold loyalties to them. Like Oprah said, now I probably will get this quote oh, wrong. Jesus, fuck. Dave, Oprah? this quote, I, Dave, this quote will probably get wrong, but and they're going to fact check it. But like Oprah said, be with someone who's with you when the wheels fall off the limo and you need to get the the saving, like the triple A to come help you. And yeah, sometimes you need to get in that hoopty to get from A to B until that limo gets better, to get new wheels. Don't be with someone who leaves you when the wheels fall off the limo. Now, I know I messed that up, guys. You might want to look into her quotes, but it was a quote from Oprah. So I just want you to know that. Don't, for ladies and gentlemen, if a man or woman is not ride or die for you and you've come to bat to them, do not be ride or die for them. Walk away, run away, get away, get away. Okay, hold on, Tinker. One second. I'm, I'm seeing some of the chat, honey. Yep. Um, in Guam, Tinker. Let's see. Oh, yes. Answered. Yep. And um, now for uh, the loser lurking made a comment. And I need to make this very clear. Made a comment that I was a ballerina that was kicked off of Purple's stream because for whatever reason. I don't really know the whole conversation of it. I promise you guys, I've never been on anyone's panel here except Dave's. Never. I was never kicked off Purple's thing. They like to tr intertwine things because they lie. The people, yeah, they lie. I want to tell you something. I have never, I am not graceful. I could never be a ballerina. <laughs> Let the, okay. I think they made up a lie. Well, not I think. I know it. I have the screenshot to prove it. Now, the only tutu I wear is my rainbow tutu when I'm walking down the pride parade in Los Angeles. And that happens every year, except this year, it's not going to happen. That's the closest thing to a ballerina. I am not graceful. I am beautiful, but I'm not graceful. And I would never go on Laura's panel and present to be a ballerina. And for whatever, I don't know really where that conversation went. That's all. And all the people DMing loser lurking. Shame on you. None of you know me. None of you. And I love the people that are like, her voice is familiar. Her laugh is familiar. We know who it is. None of you know who I am. And I'll let you know, there are a couple, there are creators I've met, real creators. I've met 31 creators, not in this, in this realm. And my ships never leak. Never, never leak. Never. You see what Miss Piggy wrote? She said, lots of people want to ride with you in the limo, but you want someone that who will take the bus uh with you when the limo breaks down yes miss piggy yes that's right highlight that one up on the screen honey i did and that's true so true miss piggy if they're not if a man is not right or die when you need him to be or a woman i you know this is mutual guys it's not one way streets you know then you gotta go gotta you go. have to go there's no changing a narcissist there's no wow. changing um an evil hearted person there's none you can you can look at all the tutorials all you want you because you gotta understand well the, the people on the internet 
Their subscribers are their supply. A narcissist subscribers are their supply. They're always going to find a different supply, whether it be me or, or someone else, the next person that comes along, or you know, an old friend from the past comes and starts uh, being like a little hummingbird in the chat because they don't see me. Or, you know, and this is a scenario. There's always a supply to that narcissist. And when they can't use you for anything else, that's when they discard you. It's a narcissist cycle of life. Okay. I'm just reading this. Thanks. Jane Rhodes says you don't sound like ballet babe if someone is saying that. Now, has is that a real person? And has that person done panels? I don't know, Jane Rhodes. I, all I know is they said it was some ballerina person that went on Laura's chat and got booted from Laura's chat. I've never been on Laura's chat and I've never been a ballerina. The closest thing I do is I wear my pride tutu. Now, when I was little, as every little girl, I believe, my mom did have little ballerina slippers hung up in my room, but sadly and unfortunately, that's as far as those ballerinas slippers went. I do not have a mom. Tragedy has struck my family. So that's why when I tell people, I am no longer scared of tragedies. You see, I have nothing left to lose. Nothing scares me. Really, Mike Blunt? Okay. Who is she? Mike Blunt says he knows who you are. Now, Mike Blunt is the same person that you just kicked out of here, that Soul Rock or Soul? Soul Rock. Yeah, Soul Rock. Soul Rock. Yeah, yeah, that's the same one. Uh, Mike Blunt, come on up to the panel. Let's have a talk. I've never been to Barbados. It's the Bahamas, you dummy. Well, he got removed. <laughs> oh, come on, Mike Blunt. Come on, come on, wherever you are. Oh, and I've had some people. I had a linebacker. Um, let me see. One second. I'm going to get the name, honey. I got to pull it up. If One second, if I can find it. I did send you the screenshot of the person. So I think you can do a little. Uh, Michelle Porter, is it? Michelle Porter, I believe, is the name of that person. I just give you a shout out to all the mods. Ice. Enjoy it. <laughs> Woo! Here it is. All the mods can see it. Mm. you're doing fine honey keep going mm -hmm. so i believe it's michelle porter oh sweetie if you think i'm scared of you you better get, you got another thing to think about let me tell you this one said that she <laughs> likes to put down this is another person who likes to put down women okay let me tell you i'll get in a bikini any day any way okay and i'll beat you your linebacker ass has nothing on me nothing on me so, so challenge accepted, challenge accepted, but you got to show your linebacker arms and fishermen can actually show the picture of the people. So, and Tinker said, if they're talking about ballet, babe, you sound nothing like her. Okay, honey. I, yeah. I'm not sure who, who that is. No, don't give him any more shout outs. They have trolls in here that, um, mm -hmm. that Carlos Martinez has trolls going in, through in here because you know, all Take this stuff. Are out, guys. Quick draw time. Yeah. Anyone who says shout out, you got to just ban them completely. Woo! Yeah. Drop them like it's And look at how dumb that comment from Mar that Mike Blunt, St. John's Barbados. That's because they stalk me and listen to the last conversation, but they're so dumb to know Barbados is much different than the Bahamas. I said NASA on the Bahamas is equivalent to um, New Orleans. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Now, I have had a threat. I've had a threat from that little lady, lady. Oh, what a cute little name. Too bad you're all full of evil. Okay. So what do, what I say to you, little lady, come on down. The price is your life. Come on down to Candy's Price is Right. The price is your life. You see my dogs? Man, I'm getting two more. Out. I'm getting two more Dobermans. So I will have a total of four Dobermans. <laughs> That's too many. It's never too many when it's I'm dealing with many. people like this. Uh, but these are fucking shit talkers. They're not going to do nothing. They're a bunch of pussies. A bunch of droolers, man. <laughs> Serious, dude. They're window lickers. You know what I'm saying? They're short bus riders. That's that's the people that, you know, make are making these fucking comments. Oh, yeah. And then one more. The Truth, um, a.k.a. I guess her channel when she first started it was called The Light Truth. This one has constantly been a liar. Yet she claims her channel to be The Truth slash The Light Truth. And this is the thing. You know, she she was liked when she was with Laura and things were good. She broke off for whatever reason. I'm not I don't really know the reasons why people break off. But when you break off, you break off to start a new or improve yourself. Instead, she started a hate channel on Laura. OK, I know I'm getting a lot of this hate because we're supporters of Laura. Let me tell you, that support's not going to go anywhere. Now, I'm a little upset Laura didn't help me out on a situation, and maybe she just didn't get the message. Um, because if I have to seek alternative places, then my loyalty is very, I don't hold it. You know what I mean? Like, my feelings get hurt and stuff. And, and see, look at this. We got Carlos Martinez. Carlos, you do know everything has a digital footprint. You know that, right? And you could be put in jail for the amount of things you've done.
I get a kick out of these guys. Oh, uh, Taco Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Lopez, I'm not scared of you or the trolls. I'll be laughing till my last breath. You see, I have nothing left to lose. And jail doesn't scare me. I have nothing to left to lose. Yeah, tragedy affected my my life. When tragedy, when real tragedy, not this BS that people lie about and all this other stuff, when real tragedy affects one's life, you get callous to this. You know, this is fun. This is just a little playing. Anyone comes to my doorstep, I eliminate you. They honey, they don't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> Believe me, if people knew who you were, they'd drop a dox in two seconds. The problem is not only do they not, they don't even, they know nothing about you. They have no clue who you are. They don't know your fucking name. They don't know where we live. They know nothing. Oh, yeah. And no, they, I'm not. And, and they never will. And they never will. <laughs> we are well hidden. Yeah. But in the event they do, you know what I mean? Look at how they ate that picture. Now, everyone knows I'm blonde. Like, let's be real. <laughs> You know, and I love how people say, oh, they know who I am. They know, but I've never been on a panel. Never. I've never been on the US. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. I want to go back to the light truth. So she built a channel of lies and hate for Laura. That's how all of those people did it. Let me tell you, you know what this, the light truth did? Her name is Tracy, her real name. You know what she did? She, she created an account in a woman whose sister died and trolled her with that account. She took a picture of the woman's deceased body and trolled another creator it's terrible with that name okay so and as far as someone taking your kids truth no one's got to do that you already did that with your neglect and i'll leave that alone you have already done that with your own neglect that takes us back to that um that fat slob who lives in canada what was his name um something 68 do you remember that's that it paul, that's that paul guy paul cook i think paul cook yeah, 68 paul cook. this guy neglected his daughter she led to the drugs overdosed and he's trying to do well they, the district attorney did receive that and he's trying to sue so that he can so-called better his life he sits all day 500 pounds pulls his his dick and plays with his harmonica and that's his life but he wants to win a lawsuit that he thinks he's going to win when people have already told him when it's a drug addict um death you can't sue especially when she's buying stuff from the parking lot it's not like you know what i mean the doctors gave said oh yeah sure here's here's bags of pills for you honey we got this for you no doctor does that but he's suing strictly so he can have a better life and improve his life wouldn't you have tried approving your life when the minute you knew you conceived a child that's when you start to improve your life or maybe another sign of improving your life is when you notice how you're neglecting your daughter or if those didn't give you red flags another improving of life should happen when you see she has a drug problem okay those should have been three signs, but instead you ignored it, applauded the behavior, did the drugs right next to her, and sadly she lost her life because she bought some bad drugs. But instead of you accepting your failures in life, which you are a failure in life, there's nothing good about you, Paul Cook 68, nothing. You ride Dave's pr private part, you're so invested in his dick, that's because you're so big and sweaty, yours doesn't even pop out, because you play with your harmonica, and you rub it on your private. How gross, how gross. But you, the fact is you think you can sue them to improve your life now. You've got to be kidding me. Lally Christingham, that's wrong. If you guys are making fun of that lady, you know. Oh, Brian, we have the best VPNs, best. We run around server, dude, so I wish you luck. But try, come try, come try to come in our world. Come try, come try. <laughs> God, our mods are fucking quick draw tonight. Take them out, mother. Take them out, mods. That's why you're wrenched up. <laughs> Rip out their fucking hearts. Woo! We're all going down. Mm -hmm. It's going down. I'm yelling, Timber. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a song. that's a song. Yep, that's Holy right. Shit. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, and I do. Okay. Cherokee Rose, Cherokee something. This, there's Cherokee someone people. that runs. No, no, don't. It's not good. It's not good. Don't sing that wonderful song, baby, because. Why? This, because this person why? is. Okay, this person has said stuff, and we okay, we need to distance ourselves and try to get some clarity. And I don't know why WRN has not typed in the chats because this her opinion would be well. What? It maybe would be helpful. I'm guessing. I don't know. So, there, a person had sent a, a message. They left a numerous messages. I believe it was under Cherokee, Cherokee something, Cherokee Rose or Cherokee. I can't remember the name but they left books of stuff and it was of all this stuff about kimberly star which 
I don't believe that that's true about Kimberly Starr. So I'll tell you that first off. The second thing that this Cherokee person left was that this channel's in my name. As you guys can tell, especially the ones receiving strikes, it's not in my name. This channel's not my name. <laughs> I've never had <laughs> a channel. I've never had a channel on this platform. But I will say that there's severe accusations that were made for Dave's friend, Deb. There were serious accusations. Oh, and I want to wide. say... I want to say because the first things don't add up, I can't say much about the third one. Again, I haven't been here for six years, guys. I'm new to the scene within a year. I will not say I don't believe it because the trolling that happens behind here that women do, but I can't say anything. I could say I don't co-sign to that if that is happening. I would never co-sign it and go at anybody who's doing that to the fullest extent of the law. Do it. But I can't find any information on that because I don't want to really invest time into that you know what i mean my schedule is going to get very busy things like that so it's like oh no deborah dudley i laugh like that on purpose because it drives the people crazy <laughs> it does hey it toast, just gets what's them up? going hey toast oh and for the record someone made um a remark i gotta remember the name um oh yes that loser stewie stewie toast has never put his hands on a woman he's never beat a woman you go off of your Messiah loser, Lindy, absconding from stealing from people and taking people's identity. And Denise Locker, who like, whose son is in jail, probably going to be there the rest of his life. She's never going to see her, her son again. He hates mm -hmm. her. Toast never did that. So if you're going to say something, but I don't foresee your channel being up much longer, to be honest yeah. with you. And you can create all you want. But see, that was before Fishing Babe came into play. That was before my neighbors who work in YouTube my <laughs> can help. That's okay. Right. Yeah, you know, I've helped a lot. So I just want you to know, like anything you guys say there, no, nothing is believable. But for that, that that issue, I will tell you there, you have to speak to that person individually. Okay. I have no knowledge of that stuff. If that's happening, like I said, do that. Because I do know there are women. I don't think Deb is a woman troll. Now, I don't believe she causes mischief like that. I don't know. I don't no. know what's done in the past. I don't, because there's no we our schedules just have not met up you know what i mean fisherman so yeah. but i will say there are women down here who are very bad trolls and one yeah. who i have strong opinions on well a couple of them strong opinions on and i'm not sure what the, really what the um not department what community they're from but i'll tell you i don't like them and i'll also tell you just because you know people are friends with them does not mean i'm friends with them okay and that's in general. There's no naming people. This is it, that really has nothing to do with here or there. I know people, you know, like to spread that with wildfire and stuff, but people like who they like. Now, that's just how it rolls. You know what I mean? And I don't know if Dave can tell you anymore, but he did see the screenshot and we just don't know what to say about that situation, to be honest with you. You know. But, Dave? <laughs> yeah. Did you drop off? I didn't know if you no, dropped I'm off. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just letting you do your thing. Yeah, but for that Cherokee Rose person, remember that long screenshot? We didn't know what to do with it. I have no idea, but they left it everywhere. So I know people are considering that um, the Bible. However, you guys know this channel is not in my name. So, oh, and the Light Truth also said that I stole a person's channel down here. I don't know how to make it more clear to you, the Light Truth, Tracy. I've never stolen anyone's channel on here. I would never be on this U.S. platform, specifically because losers like you. And mm -hmm. there's other people too. I just wouldn't until the U.S. is regulated more, which means someone leaves a bad comment. I can call the police. You're arrested. Then it won't be regulated. In different countries, it's regulated a little bit more. You know. <laughs> no, I don't. I never lose my cool, honey. <laughs> you're doing fine. God bless me. God bless me with my voice. I love it. I don't care what you think. Like I said, it's Candy's world, Candy's rules, Candy's laws. It's my way, or I don't care. It doesn't matter uh, what you well, loser welcome, say. Welcome to Candyland, motherfuckers. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Juju. It's a full moon. Hey, Juju. We love Juju. Oh, my, Juju. Really? <laughs> They're screaming, yelling. Holy shit. Well, no, this was mild. This I wanted to get on. This was a more serious about domestic violence, narcissist abuse, verbal abuse behind the scenes when you disagree with someone. Um, I was in a conversation with someone this week, and I'll tell you, I thought so highly of these, this group, this person. These, I did. For a year, I'll say. I thought so highly. I mean, whatever was said, I just, I didn't ignore it. I researched it to my own stuff. I did, you know, 
But this person said nine words in a sentence to me, nine words in a sentence. And it totally showed me clarity like I've never seen before. And you know, when that clarity hits you guys, after you've ignored red flags for so long, it hits you like a ton of bricks. It really hits you like yeah. a ton of bricks. It hits you and it was nine words in a sentence. And it told me everything I needed to know. And so, you know, I'll be making changes to that very soon, guys, very soon, very soon. Um, because I don't deserve to be disrespected like that. I don't deserve to be abused like that. I do cons consist that as abuse. Um, and it doesn't work in Candy's world. So, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Toast. Yeah, Toast. A lot of people aren't getting notifications. I think that's just the YouTube stuff. And I would agree. <laughs> It happens, yeah, you do. Yeah, it's no, it was just a sentence, you know, but nine words that provided me such clarity that, yeah. Yep, but it hits you like a ton of bricks, guys. It hits you like a ton of bricks. <laughs> it can. Blind. If you think that was me, don't you think I would have took that off the video by now? Like, let's be real. Quit trying to get pats on the back from all your hateful women. Do you, if you really think that was me, I would have cut that out of the video. My thing is, that's a very, that's a patient of mine who's closer to me than anything, who's close to me, will stand by me when all boy and all you losers come at me in real life. You just they will hold, stand next to me. That's like, what? They're, they're a patient. Well, I'm aware of that, but they're that, also I said, that's a person, a person close to me. Okay, they are a patient. Well, it's a, they can mess through it how they want. That's a person close to but me. They are a patient. Right, they're a patient, but they're not technically your patient. That's what I'm saying. They're a really good friend of yours. Yes, and they but will they stand by me through everything. And this is the thing. Like, oh, they, will no. they will never be able to leave the hospital room alive. And I'm actually planning on her going to heaven very soon, within a month. I cannot say that to her. I cannot tell the family. I can't do anything. But I've already prepared my heart for that heartbreak. The only heartbreak Candy feels is from people close to me and patients. Because... A lot of patients don't have family or their family has passed on because there's a lot of people who were single childs, you know. Her doing that was her happiness as a way to give the middle finger to all you trolls. And I will, I've downloaded that. I've burned copies of that video. I will forever have that memory of her, of her doing that. I will, that is a great memory for me. That will stay up on here. I'm not sure how long YouTube lets people, you know, stuff stay up or whatever. But that will say in my heart, she gave you all a big F you and she yeah. did it for me. And I love yeah. her more and more. She did it. And that brought her happiness just because she saw some of the comments here. She can't get so much in the chats anymore because, um, you know, real patients going through real sickness are not on the Internet causing hate and havoc. But I will never forget. And I will always cherish that. I will always cherish that. And. Not for nothing. Have you guys seen the foreheads of these women in the drama communities and their facial features? Did you see the cheekbones in her? She's got the dude, cutest cheekbones I've ever seen. Dude, dude, she ain't no fucking 500 pound fucking heffy majeffer that doesn't know how to put a fork down. No. Most most of the troll losers down here, there's some fat heffing bitches, man. I mean, there's some fat fucking women. I mean, fat. And, I and this like, is the thing. Everybody here has at least a four inch forehead that I've seen. You know, especially that Jules person who came oh. into Laura's thing. Her name was Jules. Came in now. There's new. There's like eight. I believe there's eight subscribers that are named Jules. So please don't get them off. You guys all know who I'm talking about. This person's name is Jules. She got a Mexican Hispanic boyfriend. They live in. Um, they say they live in the uh, millions of dollars brownstones. <laughs> yeah, right <laughs> now with the. And yet you're making fun of my looks when you look like Godzilla's wife, in real life. And she brought wow. in her. She brought herself into um, Laura's community. All of a sudden, picking fights with people because she wanted attention. She wanted the channel. She never met Laura. She never communicated yeah, with Laura. Yeah, but nobody down here's ever seen what you look like. Yeah. They well, no, they're making fun you. of the picture. And they're and making fun not. of the picture. Wow. It's it's like, oh my god, dude! I said, put your friend on the fucking on, on your fucking phone. Put her on camera briefly, and these trolls will go fucking crazy. And once again, I was right. You these dumb fucks. Hook, line, and sinker every fucking mm -hmm. time. And you wonder why I'm called the fisherman. Ha, ha, ha. Morons. Bunch of fucking morons. It's too easy. It's too easy. Plus, let's be honest. Let's let's be honest. How many of these fat, heffy fucking linebacking bitches ever go on camera? Never. Never, never, no. never. 
You know why? Well, except for fucking uh, just, just lurking. My mistake. That's Denise, Ham a.k.a. Hamilton Lacar, the fucking bitch in Florida. Let's be honest. You're double D. We know who you are. You got fucking docs. You can lie your ass off and say that ain't you. But bitch, it is you. We know it's you. They've tracked your videos. And this is why it's so fucking funny. She admitted it. There's a video where just lurking admits who she is. Millie, you dummy. Hey, Millie She's Smith, you dummy. I measured my forehead. My forehead. Are you that dumb or just pure ignorant all the time? It doesn't matter, honey. It doesn't matter what you say. They make shit up. They lie about everything. You got Yeah, but I mean, I mean, you can see, it. you know, like the thing is, you throw the poisonous sugar, the cockroaches come. But this thing is, there's some women that do have pictures in their emoji things and stuff. And my God, if that camera glass didn't crack, you have no business speaking on a woman. This woman, she's going to be going to heaven soon. You guys won't be that lucky. Yeah. And, and, like and crush candy, crush candy. Let me tell you something. All I got to do is make a call to my daddy and my brothers and say someone hurt my feelings and their lives are crushed. <laughs> and, and like I said, let them think it's you. Who gives a fuck? Who yeah. cares? Who cares? They're tr These are people. I mean, look at Looney. Looney did a 30 minute video last year where all she did is talk about how the fucking doctor gave her nothing but high doses of vitamin D because she never goes outside because she lives in a closet. I mean, let's get real here. You're talking about. I mean, there are people here that live in Hawaii, but they would rather bash on Elvis travels than make beautiful. I mean, if I lived in Hawaii, fuck, I'd be outside. I'd be showing you beaches and marinas and going for drives and showing you the natural beauty of Hawaii. I wouldn't be bashing on some piece of shit, you know, loser down here. What? What? But they won't. But these people won't do real content. It's a fucking joke. I mean, it's a joke. I've done, you know, 50 to 100 videos of real quality content driving across the U.S. and having fun and doing shit. They've done nothing because all their channel is is a hate channel. Enjoy your hate channels, folks. Enjoy them because a year or two from now, they won't be around. They won't be on YouTube. Have you read some of the shit YouTube's been releasing lately? That once the pandemic's over with, when YouTube reforms again, their number one goal is to crack down and remove, delete permanently. All hate channels will be removed. Yeah. And I have a list. I'm taking them. I have a list and I'm going, I'm going to go with real, their real names so that all those names get blocked because just like YouTube has little block features here for words for independent creators, YouTube has block features for them too, which means it blocks certain IP addresses from registering. It's going to get very interesting. And I have a whole list. Anyone that spoke bad about me? <laughs> yeah. And you have a hate channel. You better believe it. You better well, believe it. I mean, how? I mean, let's toast, be honest, toast. guys. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Toast, you have to look at it like this way. These women have been miserable all their lives, whether in marriages, out of marriages. Men have discarded them. Women have discarded them. They've been at the bottom of the barrel in jobs they never felt appreciated and no one gave them a pat on the back. So they felt they got jealous of the beautiful ones coming in with that glossy, beautiful skin, with those cheekbones, beautiful, with those cute little skirts on. That instilled a hate seed in them and they saw those beautiful cuties get raised into higher jobs when they put their little application in for the promotion denied 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 so all that oh poor me no one's giving me attention now i look pretty i look pretty and so that sinks in and then more sinks in as no one gives them a time of day well hence the internet came hence the keyboard war came hence mm, in their heads i'm so miserable i'm gonna type in the chat and get my frustrations out because they think i'm anonymous you're never anonymous. You all have a digital footprint. Even with a VPN, it can be traced by the right authorities. Yeah, it can. So, you know, Toast. And they're at the end of their lives. They're going to die from heart attack, from all the cholesterol they ate, and all the boohoos. And they're the kind of people that go into stores and complain about something, or they yell at the cashier because they get the, anything to get their frustration off of them. Or they act like they have money, and they're so, like, um, all their life they worked. They give you that sob story. Oh, yeah, I worked all of my life in the government. I've worked in the government. I decided to leave the government because I can make more money privately. More money privately. So... So then, on, just yeah, there's, down here. It's ridiculous. Yep. they're sitting at home, you know, it's just, but instead of holding like Juju, instead of them doing positive, like Juju positive gaining, she got her own family. She's got her own husband. She's got a house. She's got a lot of things coming down the road. It's all positive. Yeah. Everyone goes through rough times, but instead those other women, unlike Juju, she puts her tears on her sleeve. You roll up your arms, you keep going. You go for the next adventure. You're always constantly thriving and evolving. These women are at a standstill because they're miserable. 
their husbands don't give them attention. They just give them maybe a little bit of money. Here, go, go, go out of my hair, whatever it is out of my hair, you know? And so all they get is their phones as they're eating all these McFlurries and these fattening foods. And they feel on top of the world. Cause guess what? There's another loser woman right next to them typing in the chat. So now they have a friend. They finally have a friend in this world. And when they find losers like loser lurking, and Looney Lindy, who is absconding from stealing money. Oh, don't think people haven't called the VA Looney Lindy. And the thing is, you'll be removed from that hospital room, that doctor's visit room. And you, I can't wait to hear you squealing because they're going to tell me all the expressions that you do. I can't wait to hear you squealing when you say, oh, no, I'm with him for my appointments. And they're like, security, she's out. No squealing you could do. There's no identity you can steal. There's no manipulation you could do because they already have what you're absconding from. So. <laughs> Yes. Um, um, I don't think those are her Dobermans, but she does have two Dobies. That yeah, that's just them. an internet picture, but mine. <laughs> I told her, do not use your own picture because Never. the trolls mm -hmm. will search and they could find it on social media, on your social media. So do not. So, so we found her an internet picture because I know how these people are. And I love when they're like, oh, catfish or whatever. But excuse me, isn't a catfish someone who is aiming to get the attention of men and for dates or for or whatever? Yes. Like, yes. I don't want lie. anything to and, do and with Looney, anybody. Yeah, but Looney is a catfish. Isn't it? Yes, she told is. us all that when she showed up in fucking Roseville, it wasn't the, the, the model. She used pictures of a model in lingerie. This is true. Looney, this isn't a lie. This is true. Boris said it. Matter of fact, I think, of course, you fucking still has the video up if you really want to be serious. And it wouldn't take that much for me to look at Waffles Archives and find the video. And, you know, Looney, maybe I'll play that next. Maybe instead of dropping your court records, I will start dropping videos where fucking Boris is talking about how your pussy stinks and you're dirty and you're nasty. Ew. And you couldn't suck a dick to save your life. You like to drag your teeth. Well, well, when you have a man, that is. And uh, <laughs> just, all the, just all the skanky shit. Now, when you showed up, he's like, who the fuck are you? Because you catfished him. That's a catfish. You are by far no catfish. You're smoking hot. So. Yeah. And this is the thing. I don't want any attention from any of these people. Now I have recently found out that guy wants to leave his girlfriend and wants to be my, and that's why he keeps creating these accounts and subscribing to me. You have no chance. I would never have a boyfriend like you. I would never, never, because I don't tolerate my men acting like you do online. I don't, I don't. That's one thing. No. So you have no chance. Please stay with a woman. I wish I can reach out to her and let her know, but I don't want to break her heart. That's it. You, there's no chance. And as far as cat, I'm that's for dating people. So that's what I thought it was for catfishing or whatever. I'm not here to prove anything to anybody, either like me or don't, but I'm not going to take abuse from you people that have said nasty stuff about me. I fight back. Like I said, the smaller people that you've done this for years, this is the thing. No one has ever come in and done what Candy's done. None. You will forever well, remember the amazing Candy in the boy yep. because I don't have a channel here. I'm not trying to be here. I don't care if I'm liked or not liked. I don't care. That's the thing. I don't care what you think or what you say because you, first of all, you don't affect my money. You'll never affect my money, even if you find out who I am. Never. You'll never oh, no. affect my money. Never, <laughs> never, you'll never, you'll never put me honest. in a bad position. And oh yeah, Trisha, not Trisha. Okay, I've been quiet about these two because I really didn't know much about Trisha, not Trish. And I really didn't know about another young lady. And so I've been quiet. Didn't really know about all these drama women. I guess these are women on the other side of the drama community. I didn't really know much about them. I knew people didn't like them. I didn't know of their real actions and what they really did to people. I really didn't know. So I never commented on it. Well, Trisha, not Trish, decided to make a comment under Jenna Moon's video, and she fabricated a lie. Again, we're going to have to probably go through one of the videos. I want a timestamp where I said that, Trisha, not Trish. But always remember this, Trisha, not Trish. You know what she's done? She's hired child molesters. That's real. That's real. Uh, to go after and actually film Brian St. John's house, his real house, where he lives with the kids, okay? She's paid people to go do that in real life. And she thinks, because criminals like her do that. Let me tell you something, Trisha, not Trish, and I hope you get this loud and clear. The person will always choose the ones who get them a non-guilty verdict and will always turn on the people they paid to do the charge. I'll say it again. The person will always side with the ones who get them the non-guilty verdict and will always turn on the people they paid to do the charge. I make that very clear to her. And that's all I have to say to her. For as far as Jenna Moon, Jenna Moon, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know you. You're not on the radar. It got brought into the chat that you were saying all this stuff about me. I'm a catfish and I stole a channel and all that. Go ahead. Look, I've never stolen a channel. You know, yeah, never. What? First of all, what are they talking about? What channel? Did I you have no it? idea. I don't what know. The They're fuck saying are they I talking so about and I've, I've never prove been it. on the U.S. platform. It's like you fucking trolls prove your shit. 
<laughs> Darwin. Ah, oh, God, I love it when he comes in and does that shit. <laughs> God damn it, Darwin, you shitbagger. I'll be honest, I think Looney's a hobbit. And the reason I say that is because look at all the body hair. Look how short the person is and look how big those feet are. That's a fucking hobbit. Just like on Lord of the Rings. Makes sense. Probably lives in Hobbitville in a hobbit house. Well, he, you know, we know she doesn't drive. You know, because wanted felons can't have a fucking driver's license. We are aware of that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, a letter about a month ago was sent to the fucking Department of Motor Vehicles with your record, Looney. I heard somebody did that in the state of Tennessee. You know, where you live in. Just in case you did get a license. You ain't gonna have it long. Woo! Suck it! And just, and everyone knows, even if they're not in Tennessee or whatever, for sure, or if they move, when you contact the VA hospital and give that information, how he's, he, you feel he's in danger oh, yes. because he's harboring a fugitive, Share all this. the VAs are connected. All Ooh. the VAs are connected. Right. Every state, it doesn't matter. That's right. And if the VA, if they need to talk to him privately, they will bring, <laughs> an, they will bring MPs over and remove you from the situation because you're not, part, and talk to him like they talk to normal soldiers. Privately. And, and it's and before you get any prescription things. They have, they talk, they have the appointment, yeah. yep. you know, go through the ailments, whatever, make sure he's not dying. You know what I mean? Because the health is important. And then before they fill out any refill prescriptions, they say, we have a matter we need to discuss with you. And they will pull up everything that's been sent to them, which has been your whole file, Looney. You're welcome. You're welcome. Not you are mention, welcome. Not to mention, they will do surprise inspections of his home. And if mm -hmm. they find you there, he could lose, they will suspend all of his retirement benefits through the fucking military That's until he works. comes in until he shows up to come in to have an interview but i don't know if it's military police i'm not sure because he's not active but they will suspend now he will never not have his benefits but they will suspend one way or another they'll have a private conversation and 100 percent looney you won't be involved you'll be removed from the room because you are the fugitive correct the mundo and if you don't think the military doesn't have your fucking arrest warrant and your criminal record <laughs> you bitch you got another thing coming they do now some Concerned citizen, I believe, sent it to them. Numerous concerned citizens. Yep. Numerous there ones. Out there. There's a lot of them out there, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. So keep coming at us. We got more. Oh, yes. I've decided to fight fire with fire. Yeah. <laughs> Toast to go. Am I right or am I right? It's a hobbit. Big feet, hairy body, small bot, small, super fat hobbit. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna start calling her Hobbit Girl. So, hey, Looney, uh, you brought this all on yourself. I was prepared to wait three years to revisit it if your harassment stopped. You didn't want to stop. We play, we play, we play, we play. The thing is, Candy always gets her way. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right, yeah. That's about right. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Toast Hobbit, super fugly. <laughs> exactly, dude. I'm just saying, you know. But it's like I I try to explain to Candy as look. And it's the boy. People play dirty down here. So you got to be prepared to fucking get in the mud with them. It's the truth. <laughs> yeah. You do. You want to get down and fuck. And that's the other thing. Fucking Hobbit Girl, why are you talking about my dick? Seriously. You always lie to everybody and say you're married to Thomas. Who cares? Who cares what size? My dick could be big, small. Who gives a shit? And why are you talking about it? That's disgusting. I got a Hobbit talking about my dick. What the fuck? You sound like that fucking gay guy. That fake biker guy. He always talks about my dick. It's because I think he wants it in his mouth or something. And dude, let me tell you something. I'm not gay. I like pussy, so it's not going to happen. <laughs> I have someone. She's up here. I'm not interested. <laughs> so you can stop talking about my cock. Or you can, be, you can keep being gay. I swear to God. Guys down here talking about their guys' dicks, you are gayer than a $3 bill. Mm -hmm. Have you people ever heard me sit on my goddamn panel and talk about another guy's cock? No, you haven't. You know why? I'm not gay. Like all these other weirdos. I mean, Jesus, who does that? Gay people, that's who. <laughs> Rich Life talks about your wiener. Yeah, but Rich Life, I think, have you heard his He voice? has sexual like, deviancies. He's got a lot of sexual, and I'm, it, I get no pleasure off saying that. He was my friend. Scared. I would have defended him. I would have defended him to, you know, and then I heard about the 14-year-old stuff. And regardless, guys, I don't know if Kimberly Starr did that. I don't know. I can't put any weight in what people say in the comment sections. Yeah, who knows? But I will tell you, he answered in that reply. That was yeah. all his typing. So, just go where you go with that. And I understand people want views and stuff. Oh, there's another person, maybe, I don't know if you want to discuss, but who likes to make threats to Dave. Let me tell you uh, something. You uh, think you're almighty and everything that, and he, I thought he was a friend of yours too. 
Uh, well, you got to understand, he's he's a sub poacher, and mm. he's running around all these channels, and he's like, you know, let me let me explain something. When I meet people for good causes, I always buy them a steak dinner. That's what I do. That's just something I've always done. But let me explain something, Nimrod. Something you don't do. So I'm not gonna say your channel name. Something you don't do is say you're gonna beat the shit out of me. You're gonna do. Let me explain something to you, dude. The trolls that hate your guts, because I know you watch me. The trolls that really don't like you, eventually they will find you. They will dox you. And they will call CPS on you because you're sitting there talking about six sexual shit on your goddamn channel and your kids are in the background. Are you shitting yeah. me? Are you shitting me? You can't do that, dude. You can't do that. And there are some crazy, look, I don't call CPS on nobody because I would never do that to somebody. That's not how I Yeah, work. right, but right. But the fucking fact that you're running around threatening to fuck up to your all beat the fuck out of, you know, you're threatening to beat up disabled people for one. There's a law against that. And you don't think that people don't record that off your channel? Are you nuts? You're goddamn right they do. The minute they dox you, your world is going to be so turned upside down because what they'll do is they'll call CPS with clips from your own show of the sick shit that you do with the kids in the background. You can hear them talking and playing and they're going to go to your kid's school and interview them. Are you stupid? Yes, you are. Not to mention you you brag about how your, your girlfriend is best friends with Ash 274 and how they troll people down here. That's one of the, do you know how many haters that woman has? I mean, these people are stupid, dude. You talk about droolers and window lickers. I mean, are you dumb? Are you retarded? Are you fucking retarded? Because that's how you're acting. And what you mm -hmm. don't do is you don't run to everybody's panel and beg for subs. That's called a sub poacher. It takes years for people to get their subs. And they don't want you poaching. You know, plus I've already given you multiple shout outs. I mean, are you shitting me? I mean, I could go on and on about this fucking guy, but Jesus. Plus... What do you think CPS is going to think about you bragging about you being with three, 400 women? That ain't going to go over very well, dude. I mean, you're not that smart. Smart up, dude. Smart up. Because let, let me explain something to you. There's a lot of shitty people down here that just to fuck your life up for fun. And you think, and that's why it's so funny. Because if you look who's in your side chat, who's on your panel, half the time you're not even on your panel. You're asleep or doing whatever. You just, nobody wants to go and watch somebody who's not on the panel the whole time. These are people that nobody wants in their side chat and they don't want them on their panel. They're all people that have been booted. They're, these people are, are fucking shitbags. Nobody wants them. And you grab a hold of these people like they're fucking the Messiah fucking subs. Good luck. There's a reason why there's a lot of channels on here that have booted them, not only from drama, but from Boyd. Especially that JoJo, that she changes her picture and changes her name, that Mo JoJo and JoJo, I believe she's from the UK. Yeah, honey, you have some nerve to talk. How about you put the bottle down? Put the bottle down. Sober up, then come and have a conversation. You have nothing on me. Nothing. Oh, okay. well, fuck. You got Emery, who used to be on Witty Widows all the time, who is, is nothing but a fucking drunk. Witty Widow kicked her to the curb months ago. Wants no, isn't Embry, isn't Embry that Naomi Kenya? She was in a couple nights ago. But I've noticed that a lot of people say that that Naomi, Naomi Kenya is her. And that she's been kicked out of everybody a place. So she goes under a different name just so she can have some friends. So uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. But one person out that Joe King, who's a troll, he lives in Texas. He yeah. goes under the name Joe King. It's yeah, funny. He never misses a thing I do. Let me tell you, if you've been in the military and I count you as harassing me and stalking me, I can find you. And when I find all your information, I'm going to let everyone know it to you. I'm also going to contact the military because I'm sure you access military databases through your services that you do that you're harassing and stalking me on. So I'm going to add that to my list when I talk to the military this week. All righty then. <laughs> I got my little list I'm writing right here, honey. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, right yeah. Right. Let me just address the Ash 274 thing. I don't know about you. I know from panel to panel, chat to chat, everyone, no one likes you. Okay. No one at all. They think that you are, you're the definition of white trash is you. Okay. And I know. Some people have tried to tell you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you need to improve yourself. Do you hear how you sound when you talk? Honey, you got to take the shit out of your mouth. You got to. You got to clear your throat. You got to do what you got to do. Um, you don't intimidate me at all. Okay. In fact, I think St. Jude should know that you're part of the embezzling money and you're part of her bullying behavior to keep people from speaking up. I think they do need to have your information. Remember, they can get a subpoena for everyone in her chats That's true. at any time. Yep, that's true. At any time. Mm -hmm. You can go in and delete your messages now or even delete your accounts. They can get it. They can get it. 
So I don't know who you think you are, but you're not even on my class level at all. So get them. <laughs> that's just for her. These women, they're just the ugliest as can be. And it's like, are you serious? You know, like really? Yeah, but there comes a point you have to learn to ignore it because let me tell you yeah. something. Otherwise, you're live every fucking other minute. Oh, no, 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 because we'll know. be on a break. There's going to be a lot of changes, and there will be a lot of changes. And there's a break um, that, you know, because my work schedule is getting me up. And I, I need changes, too. I deserve respect, and I'm I'm being verbally abused and shit for stuff, uh, for my strong opinion. And I'm not going to live like that, you know, so. <laughs> that makes me laugh. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit. I'm telling you, it's the bottom of YouTube, my dear. A lot of shit fucking them talkers. They won't cam up. They won't show themselves. They're just like total shitheads. So fuck them. Who cares? That's how I look at it. Like, and I don't even watch these people. I don't even know half the shit that's going on. And it tells you fucking somebody emails me or texts me because I don't watch these people. I don't give a fuck. I'm not even sub to them. Because they're hate channels. I don't watch hate channels. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Especially with some of their histories. I mean, some of these people's histories are horrifying. So, but you have to understand a lot of time when they're making, when you see like 10, 20 comments, it's three people. They're logging yes. out of all these troll accounts, talking to themselves. That's all it is. I guarantee that's all it is. Because some of these names yeah. you never heard of ever. And they never comment again. It's hysterical. But it's, it's hate. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to come a point when us streaming and doing the shit like we do, it won't be allowed. Not on YouTube. YouTube is for yeah. con real content. And if you don't have real content, you know, this all these streams and shit, it's just nothing but fucking this person bashes, that person bashes, everybody bashes. Exactly. If you don't like my content? Give me a thumbs down, unsubscribe, and fuck off. Dude, I used to say that all the time. And it's crazy. Do you know how many people sub me up to us when I say shit like that? I get tons of subs. <laughs> it's because they're window lickers. Yeah. So, they're just... You know, but we'll see. We'll see. We will see what happens when all of a sudden, all out of nowhere, my only content that I put up is Sunday church where I'm preaching and videos of my travels. We'll just see what happens. Cause I'm yeah. getting really tired of streaming. I'll be honest. It's exhausting. It, you know, it's five just five years and it's just, I'm, I'm to the point, I'm getting to that point where I'm going to do my fishing thing and that's it. I'm just, it's just old. I'm so old, tired of this. Yeah. See, and it well, is. I think cause it's you exhausting. got, you got brought into the drama with the Diane stuff that led for six weeks and that exhausted you. Cause it's boring to be honest with you. I don't care. That's boring to me, like completely boring. And I think it's like, I don't know what's going to happen is what's going to happen. You know what I mean? But it's like, cause it's not a good topic you want to talk about, but it's something that needed to be addressed because it just does, you know, that was bad behavior. And I do think that anyone that was in there should be held on embezzlement charges and for scamming. I think say once they can get the real people's information, who was in those chats, St. Jude needs to be aware of their real names and addresses so that they can look out for next schemes and scams. Cause don't think for one second, her followers didn't learn from this technique. Don't think they didn't, and they're not sure. proving it. And I really want people to know, don't think she's not already into the next scheme on a different platform. And now it's not going to be the, the St. Jude's because St. Jude's has two things going now. But don't think that people like that, it's constant scheme after scam after scheme after scam. You know what I mean? So. Well, Toast, <laughs> we'll have to get together this summer, dude, and I'll, we'll drop some fishing content. So you'll have to come my way or we'll have to meet in the middle or something. I'm serious. You know, do a bunch of fishing content shit. Go out in the boat, have a blast. Fucking uh, let some of these fucking, uh, oh, what do we call them? These, um, oh, what do I call these motherfuckers? They're like weekend warriors. Um, oh my God, I can't think of the name of what I was going to say. Uh, Googans. <laughs> Googans are weekend warrior guys. They come out, you like be catching fish. They encroach on you and shit. They put their boat like six feet from you and they cross your lines and shit. I've got some very special weights and some really heavy duty poles that we use to fucking blast their boat. Oh just, my! Yeah, man, that's all they have. It's got like hundred pound line, or they're basically ocean rods, and uh, they got like fucking uh, two pound weights on them. That's all they got, just for beaming them at motherfuckers in their boats. Kind of a hint of get the fuck away. So, yes, and you guys know that anybody on the platform, even if you don't have a channel where you upload videos to, you are able to strike a channel. You are able to strike a channel if they stole your content, if you were on the someone else's platform and they took your stuff. The individual people can strike a channel. Now, it's a little bit more, I think, of a process. It takes a little bit more. You can't have it down within 24 hours, I believe, but you are able to strike a channel. And 
you can send a note to YouTube and let them know your confidentiality is greatly appreciated and show them the pattern of behavior on the person's hate channel. I found that out. That's something brand new. And I, that came right from YouTube. So there's ways to do that. There's just different little things to do. You know what I mean? Um, but I'd like to, for the people, the people have to deal with the narcissist on here. Okay. And because they're everywhere, there's just, you know what I mean? You guys just have to understand there's no pleading with them. There's no convincing them. There's no <laughs> confiding in them. There's no expectation that they're going to change. I want you guys to know this. They're not good people to begin with. You, you need to attack them as you're comfortable with who you are. Like, this is what I say to them. I'm comfortable with who I am. My manner of life, my person is decent. And that's it. That's how you cannot let a narcissist get in and manipulate your mind or your way of thinking. You can't do it, okay? You can tell them that, you know, there's no really talking with them. A lot of times they'll ask you, what happened to you? Boy, you've changed. All different things all different things. They'll say, you have changed or what happened to you? They lie. They accuse you of being crazy. They try to embarrass you. They distort you. They talk bad about you. They openly lie about you. At that point, ladies and gentlemen, you need to say, you need to lock in your own core of beliefs, okay? You need to tell yourself, my desire is to not be controlled or abused, okay? You need to look at it as, it makes no sense to lose myself in a self-absorbed con artist. You need to tell you now there's a million other resources guys, but I want you to know we're dealing with a lot of narcissists here and this, these will hold to your true value of you. Be who you are. If people don't like your opinion or they threaten to break off something simply because you have a difference of opinion for someone that maybe they love and have done stuff for, it's time to leave because they're not going to change. Okay. When someone promotes bad behavior, you got to let them go. And I'll repeat that again. Cause I see that little comment, but Hey, Michigan gal, how are you? Right. Change your life. Right. It makes no sense to lose myself. And for people, it makes no sense to lose yourself into a self-absorbed con artist because narcissists are con artists. <laughs> I love you, fire chick. I love you, Michigan gal. I love you, Donna. I love our loyal people. I got good people. I got some of the best. Mm -hmm. I've been watching for a long time, but, but my title is uh, Diane, Wendy and Randy poo poo. So, oh, because I'm okay. talking about Diane and Randy and Wendy there. We had a lot of people come in and then leave because they were mad. Oh, well, I don't care. You know, I, I got a couple. I already, I already received like two texts. And they're like, dude, why is your title? Why are you titled that? You're not talking about them. And, I'm and like, this is the thing. This is another my thing. Channel. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. And th this is another thing. Like, wasn't it clear like about the receiving all the messages, receiving all the texts about whatever drama stuff going on, whatever, whatever, whatever. So they don't respect boundaries. They obviously feel that they're comfortable um, still sending stuff to you, right? Uh, yeah, I don't pay attention. I've blocked like four or five people this week. Mm. I told them I don't give a shit. Yeah. I mean, it, there's just so much shit that I don't care about. I don't give a fuck. It's the same stupid. Yeah, but you bullshit. have to understand that some people have different opinions that they're fighters in life. They want to fight to. It's just, the, I think, the nature of the beast. Maybe if I've been down here for six years, you know, but there's a lot of people who didn't fight who do have for years taken the abuse of these people. And I will always stand by for me. My opinion matters to me, to my family, to those who truly love me. And anyone who tries to change that is oh, no one I, I want in my life. You? What? No, I'm, I, that's, I'm saying as people individually to say this to themselves. When you're dealing with a narcissist, they're a con artist. Anybody who doesn't respect your thing or who threatens for, because narcissists like to threaten things, you know, it's over, we're, it's, we're off. Like the women like to manipulate, the men like to manipulate. Goodbye. Goodbye. Like I said, it only took nine words in a sentence and I'm making changes, guys. It only took nine words, a nine word sentence and I received clarity. No. If it can happen to me, it can happen to you. It can happen to anyone out here. I'm talking to the women and the men. You know what I just thought of? You should get like a saddle made. You could ride one of your dobies. I just say that because you're so short, but I'm just saying you could actually like, you know, like a horse. <laughs> no, that would hurt their back. That could hurt their no, back. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> There's no, no, I don't think it would. That'd be fucking, that'd be cool as fuck. We can make a video like that. That'd be so cool. Who wouldn't watch Well, I think video? we're talking about, we're talking about a serious topic. Oh, well, yeah. But man. narcissists being con artists. So like, you know what I mean? Maybe you go from that to the dogs. I love my dogs to the heaven. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> this is not a crash my mind. It's all. Good thought. So, I know, right? <laughs> I've been letting you take the reins and run. 
Oh yeah, right that's here. another thing we need to discuss. That comment was made, okay, that you let me sit up here the other day and talk about internet laws, internet crime and everything. That was that I've got to bring up because I always are protecting the victims, the people, the little people who've done it. Now, I've looked back and I've seen videos in over, I think about six years. Well, how long have you been on here, Dave? I entered the Boyd in uh, September of 2017. Oh, so it's so, not been six years you've been on no, here. No, it's been just going, it'll be four and a half going on five. I thought you had the Troll Coalition for six years. No, I've had those for about three, three and a half. Okay. Well, you know, there's a lot of mention of the federal laws and contacting this foreman years and years from when you started on YouTube. So it wasn't like I introduced this topic to boy. You true. know what I mean? They had a good understanding of it there. So, well, but prior to January 2nd, 2021, the laws weren't as strict. If, if some of these window lickers would actually go look up the federal internet, federal, you know, internet cyber stalking laws, they're very strict now. But because of uh, the pandemic, there's federal courts are stopped. There's a lot of courts, court systems that, are, that aren't going anywhere. But once, you know, give it six months, give it a year, it, give it some time. And when the court system reopens and shit, then there'll be, you know, when some of the shit that has happened there, you know, people are going to be getting knocks on doors. It's pretty serious what some of you've done. Y'all can laugh and joke about it, but I got dirt. It's already been turned over. Recordings. I mean, it doesn't matter. Even, even the people down here that pulled it off their channel, it doesn't matter. When I reported it was on your channel and the Fed saw it and I saw it and I recorded your videos and sent them over and oh yeah. So fuck you is what I have to say to you. You get to deal, you'll get to deal with them at some point. At some point they will come and knocking. And you did violate federal laws. So it's it's on you. It's on because it ain't on me, it's on you. Because I didn't do that to you. You did it to me. So good luck. You're gonna need it. Hope you hope you're as wealthy as you claim you are, because you're gonna need you're gonna have to lawyer up. And, you know, retainers are going to get a lot more expensive coming up because for the last year and a half, court systems have been locked down. Cases have got backed up and you're going to want that precedence over that great attorney. Retainers are going to go up. So that's something you're going to have to prepare in your budget, guys. Well, they won't. They'll try to, If they're criminally prosecuted, they'll get a free lawyer and then they'll be forced to make payments for the rest of their life to pay it back. They don't end up in fucking. But what I'm know, saying is the amount up. of pro bono cases, they're going to amount of pro bono attorneys available to do cases are going to be slim to none other than legal aid, which I don't think it covers criminality because all attorneys are going to be locked up in their past due cases that should have been on docket last February, last January. And they're not going to be pro bono. And there's going to be laws going into play where just because an attorney's in the room, they cannot be assigned for pro bono because you'll notice a lot of scummy people on their cases. They wait till the last attorney's there, especially if it's a good attorney because no one controls the docket, only the judge and the clerk. And if there's a one attorney in there, the judge can't assign a pro bono case to that attorney. But I'm telling you, the attorneys are not going to be ex easily accessible because there's a huge backlog of a year and a half of cases. Well, so, what I think what I think is going to be funny is uh, all the YouTubers are going to show up to do YouTube videos when Diane ends up in court. Because not only does she have to worry about fraud, stealing all this money, but now she's got to worry about, she stole 11 logos on um, on her merchandise. Oh. Every, yeah, other than Ladies Night, which actually, I hate to say it, Diane, but I think Ladies Night is actually copyrighted. But um, I know 11 of her logos belong to five different companies because they were all notified with the link to her. Because let's, you know, Teespring, Teespring is like some China company. And according to their terms of service, um, they're assuming that if you have a merch channel, that you've already gotten uh, the intellectual permission, you know, rights permission from the company. She stole all those logos. Those aren't her logos. She didn't make that up. She stole that from the internet. She did searches mm -hmm. and she stole every logo. You don't think those companies aren't going to sue her? <laughs> of course they are. Because she profited on their fucking merch, on, on their fucking intellectual logo rights. Th those are their property rights. She doesn't own those logos. That logo about clutching your pearls or whatever. I mean, that company owns that. And she's got 11 logos that aren't even hers because she stole it. She's a fucking thief. Have fun fighting that in court. You talk about fucking civil suits up the ass. Woo! Fuck's sake. Plus. And then all the people that harassed her when she sent those pizzas, because that woman could have died if she ate that pizza. That's a deadly, deadly allergy. All the people after that court case can sue her for defamation and sue her for criminality. So there's going to be additional charges and they'll just shun her from move one to court, to another court, to another jailhouse, they'll transport her there or wait till her sentence comes up, then transport her when she, just when she thinks she's getting out, bam, you ain't going nowhere. And they won't tell you till the morning when you think you're getting out. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's when the people will be able to retaliate. And it won't cost you guys much money because you can go on a counter, um, a class action lawsuit against her. There's that many people. And you got to include the people who follow her too. Which, which let me tell you, 
Don't think for one second, if she is allowed to be able to get away with the harassment of people, don't think she isn't singing like a little songbird to the DA and telling all these people's real identities that were in her chat well, and the real addresses. Mention, not to mention Wendy and Randy are going to roll on her like a fucking, I mean, they're going to roll over on her like a little fucking dog. They're going to rat her out and fucking say every bad thing they ever did and how it was plotted and planned. I guarantee it because they're not going to want to go to jail. You know, but that's the problem. The problem is, is we know, you know, goddamn well, Diane shared that money. I mean, come mm -hmm. on. Yeah. And that's going to come back to haunt these women on a level that, I mean, the biggest, the biggest problem that Diane faces is, is the fact that the logos that are on her merch channel, which by the way, Diane, we went weeks ago and recorded your, your fucking merch channel on Teespring. So it's all recorded and documented. So even if you were to remove your merch channel, it doesn't matter. It's, you know, and the fact that, you know, She's recorded multiple times and there's even hangouts up where she clearly says that she is affiliated with St. Jude's. But on the Discord call that was leaked, she said she, other than being a private donor, she has no affiliation whatsoever. So she lied to everybody. And then there's merchandise up right now that has a St. Jude badge on it that you don't have permission from St. Jude's to have on your merchandise. Once again, that's a huge civil suit. You don't think St. Jude's is not going to come after you for stealing your badge fucking trademark? You're not affiliated with them. You can't put that on merchandise. You don't own the rights. I mean, yeah. are, 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 are she this stupid? Are you this dumb? Yes, she is this dumb because it was a fucking cash grab. Mm -hmm. She got very greedy. That's the thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're goddamn right she did. She had merchandise that had St. Jude's fucking badges where she claimed all that money went to St. Jude's. And then she had merchandise that didn't, didn't have those badges. But every time she would give out links, she's giving links to the merchandise that doesn't have the badges because that's all money she got to keep. And then I saw, I was last week, I think it was, who was it? Uh, somebody was doing a tally and they estimated that just from the people that said that they bought merchandise, it's like around $24,000 that she made on Teespring through fraud. Oh my. Jeez. I mean, let's be honest. The bitch owes 23 receipts. Just show the goddamn receipts and this all goes away. But she doesn't have them. Then I think people should keep the pressure up on her. Drive her off of YouTube once and for all. Because she is a narcissist. Admit it. I mean, come on, folks. So. <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is. Right. <laughs> so. No. I say fuck. I say fuck them all. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't watch Diane. God, I'm glad I don't watch that dumb bitch. I can't stand those people. But. 16 17 months ago i told the fuck i told you motherfuckers and nobody yep. listened y'all called me a liar and the fisherman once again was right so fuck you you guys that all got you got your money scammed as far as i'm concerned you deserve it you know because there's so many people down here and that's all they fuck like poon like dude you're a fucking e-beggar you don't think some of these trolls ain't gonna come after you when you're dropping your paypal link in your cash app we hate that shit we despise it down here so good luck you're gonna need it and that's another thing. A lot of these trolling women and everything, they all have cash apps, I noticed. Because when we take screenshots, you take, they go right to there. So I have a team that does that, you know, and they go right to there and see it. And then they see it never fails. There's always a cash app attached to that account. What kind of woman needs a cash app to get money? Like that's some swindling kind of business. But again, they learn from Looney and they learn from the St. Jude scammers. You know? <laughs> I don't know. Juju, that's chasing truth. I don't know who that is. I don't know. Is she true crime or something? I'm thinking just true crime. That's what it looks like to me. So, I don't know. I don't watch. Because it's just, there's so much drama on YouTube. It's just disgusting. Yeah. But then I don't watch YouTube like I used to. I just don't. You know, I watch the, my fishing channels and I watch, uh, I watch some recovery channel where they're like recovering people that have like driven off roads and shit or got stuck in really deep mud in the mountains. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but mm -hmm. on that, I don't, I don't watch, I actually, I don't watch anybody in Boyd. I don't watch anybody on drama. I quit watching everybody because it's just yeah. the same <laughs> hate, different day. It gets old guys. It gets really old. <laughs> Yeah, it does. I don't know how these people can live in the chats all day, every day, then wake up and do it again. Because when you wake up, you're supposed to be refreshed to start the day, meet with God, whatever whatever people believe too. You start fresh. But no, there's people that go right back into the chats and it's like, wow, please, Lord, don't ever let me have that life. Don't ever let me search for happiness there on the internet like that. Mm -mm. You know? 
I agree. You know. Same and let's discuss day. the okay, the messages that came in that because they're getting to be more and more about that's gonna be a little touchy subject about you talking sexually with women on the internet late at night. Um, that's a lie. I don't. Okay. I have once and, or twice, but I don't I I try to steer away from that shit. Yeah. Um <clears throat> because I've been trying to find that channel that they keep hiding and I need a little bit of time so because when I save it to my watch later. By the time I get to watch it, the channel's gone because it's hidden and I don't know if they're uploading or not, but I do want to see that channel. I do want to see what you have on that channel. Um, oh, fuck, because, you know, and well, if, it, voice... if, it, if it's truthful stuff and you're sexually talking to trashy women online, there's no reason for you to be in a relationship with me. If that is true, that's what's happening. Oh, that's a form of disrespect. Oh, that's a, that's you a know? lie. I don't talk to women on the fucking Because you know what I mean? Why would you be talking sexually with other women all night long? That's the thing. So if these people have stuff to prove, don't just send an email saying it. I need to see proof of it. Yeah, show her the Because I won't tolerate it. Let me tell that's you. That's right. Show her the proof. I have men I at the cash registers ahead of me leaving numbers at the cash register to give me. And I decline that because that's just not how you meet women, guys. You don't do that. You don't just, you just don't do that. And... But my thing is, I deserve much more respect than that. And if that's true, please don't just send me a blind email saying it. I need to see it. I need to see that proof. Because I promise you, I won't be in a relationship with Dave if that's true. I there deserve much better. I deserve to be treated like a queen. And if I'm not, I'll find my kingdom somewhere else. There you go. You know, it's just that simple. So just don't send blank emails like that, guys. Send me something I can reference if it's true. Well, there's times that we have had, had, had strange conversations. But fuck, it's been years. Hmm. But it's been years. It's been, you're talking probably 2018, 2017. I was married back then. I mean, you're talking years. But and even was, if you were married, you shouldn't have been discussing sexual stuff. Well, now that, I can see why she, it pushed her away. Well, and I'm not sticking up for her at all. Okay, but I, fuck that. Fuck for, for one, for yeah. one, anytime a lot of sick shit was brought up. And there was a time where Poon came up here, was talking about really nasty shit. And I'm like, dude, I don't talk about this. We don't talk about this kind of shit. We oh yeah, no. But you do get people to come on your panel and start talking the sick sexual shit and fucking. Well, no, these are supposed to videos where you've went into detail. You entertain it. You actually enjoy it. You like, you thrive off it. These are the that's videos like, that they're showing. That's a fucking presenting. lie. That's a fucking lie. If, if there's anything that even exists out there, it'd be shit from 2017 or 2018. And it won't be very long. It'll be clips that they took. Because mm -hmm. I don't ask anybody that's watched me for the last four years. Yeah. I don't talk sick sexual shit up here, do I, guys? I changed the, I changed the comment. It's just like fucking, uh, who was it? Make it mobster. Fucking made some fucking comment, but apparently, you know, I'll, you know, apparently I talked, her and Laura and I talked about her fucking shower video and she was offended by whatever I said. And I apologize. I'm like, what the fuck did I say? I don't even remember. Oh, no, I, I can, I think I can comment a little bit on that. It's on the Later Babes channel. It's Later Babe, I believe, Babies or Later Babes channel. That is an absolutely disgusting video. That is absolutely, yeah, well. I am, cannot believe what was said in that video. That is disgusting. Well, and I so, it, fucking yeah, but I don't even and remember. I think I do think an apology is in order, but I shouldn't have to say that. I just gave her an apology. You know, but that, you also have that to should never it. be entertained like that. And that with that sick detail and the laugh and just the the love of it all. Uh, 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 no, that is disgusting. That's disgusting. And I'll say it. I don't co-sign to that. Please guys. No, I do not co-sign to that at all. I am a hundred percent against demeaning and, or it wasn't demeaning, but it was talk. It was talking positively, but I am a hundred percent against late night talks, talking about people like that. I don't co-sign that at all. Please don't ever think I will allow that. If yeah, I see I it happening, say anything bad. Okay. You got to listen to the video. The only thing I ever said about the shower video is that for fucking her age, that she had a banging good body for having a kid. That's all I said. That's all I remember ever saying. I didn't ever sit on no panel and fucking bash on her. That's not no, true. Not the bat. I don't think not bashing. Bashing means being mean and stuff like that. I think. Yes, that's what it means. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to go watch it because fuck it, I don't remember shit. That's all Laura yeah. and I talked about. That's all. That but I just said. want people to know I don't co-sign to that. If I'm sound asleep at night and if I hear something, I'll come out and be like, hey, what are you doing? You know, and correct his behavior. But if I'm not or I'm sound asleep, I don't wake up to be online with these right. various right. women and stuff with him. Like that's his lifestyle, you know, and he'll either change that or he'll stay a bachelor. You know, Whoa, that's because as, like, as people talking about, you know, when you I, change from being bachelors to bachelorettes and you move forward to be in one full unit, you know, you'd people change. You got to change behaviors. You got to change attitudes. You got to come and become well, unity at one. I don't, I don't sit for one. 
I haven't done any. I don't go on anybody else's show. I haven't done that for two, three years because I. No, nope, it was all on your panel. That's what. The, nope. But they keep hiding this channel, and I can't find this channel again. But I know there's a one video on Later Babes channel, and that one I want people to know. I do not ever co-sign to that. I would never co-sign to speaking like that. It actually made my stomach flip. I was nauseous from that. Oh, so I, I just want you to know. Because I don't. I don't remember it. Yeah, it's it was a little while ago back, but. I think all women are beautiful. It doesn't matter the shape of their body, shape of their forehead, shape of their yeah, but you breasts. Make it sound like I'm bashing on her, and I never did. No, I didn't say you were bashing. I said it was talking disgusting sexual talk. No, but there's been quite a few panels in the past. Oh, I would say, you know, there's been talk like that on my on my channel sometimes late at night, but nothing in the last couple of years, other than that that one video where Laura and I talked about that video of Makeup Monster. I think that's who that was. But aside from that, no. I mean, there's we've had Poon up here, and he's said some pretty nasty shit. It's like, whoa, dude, stop. No, yeah, no, this is all you. They have a whole channel devoted to you talking about this with various women late at night. And I just want people to know, if I'm sound asleep, I'm not waking up for his internet pleasures. I'm not. I'm just not. You know, if he's in, if he's in a dead heat for like those, what is it, eight hour streams, Dave, that you did? You know, when it, when it, when the things go in. I haven't done a three hour plus stream in months. And right, but when you when you get them going on a roll. Time. When you get them going on a roll, like I'm not up all night oh to be God. involved in it. So I don't, I don't do want people to think shit. I co-sign to it. I don't. I don't co-sign at all. Uh, we're going to get into an argument now. And this is good no. <laughs> yeah. You're getting, you're getting spanked because this is bullshit. I don't do oh. that shit. I don't fuck around. That's bullshit. And I don't, I don't appreciate you getting accused of that. Well, you can listen to the video and let me know. So I, I just want people to know I don't co-sign for that at all. No, I don't think I it's don't okay. On, I don't go on late at night. I got fucking, I don't. You know, I'm burned out on YouTube. Yeah. I I, and you know, I know you were going to take a break or whatever you're going to do and stuff and put up little videos. But I just want people to know truly you're, you know, trying to you were trying to go a different place with your channel. So that's a good thing. But that changes with the wind because topics come up, you know, and like lately it's been the Diane stuff and the drama stuff. So now you're going to get a ton of fucking emails with a ton of fucking people are gonna start putting shit up going, oh, this was just six months ago. Oh, this was just last month, which will be a lie. Well, if it you said it's been two years, right? So it's been that, well. The makeup mobster thing was like six months ago, mm -hmm. but yeah, super late night, fucking eight hour streams where that shit was said, where shit like that was said. That'd be years yeah. old. That'd be years old. Because since I've been divorced, I haven't done any. I don't think I've done any of that shit. There's been a few times we've had Poon Handler up here, and he he'll go into disgusting shit. But the conversation is curved quite quickly. Ask the yeah. people that watched me though, the time I've been down here. I don't get yes, do do. Yep, do do. Yep. Now, do you think? Um, can you go to that channel and stream that video? Will they strike you? Does anybody know who owns the Later Babes one? Oh, it's my content. I don't know how the fuck they could strike me for my own content. So I just, I think it's Later Babies, Later Babes. Uh, But the other channel, I will say, does disappear fast. It's like, as soon as I save to watch later, save to watch later. Because I can't, I don't watch this stuff in the morning. I can't. It, I'm just too busy. And Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. Well, don't worry, the trolls will find it. They're good at finding shit. It exists. They'll find it and put it up. <laughs> Doo-doo. You're cute, doo-doo. <laughs> so I, I don't know who that is, but we shall look for it and find it. Oh, I'm sure somebody has it. I don't waffle. Can you type it. it in now so we can replay the video? Can you stream it on while you're doing it on the live or no? Uh, I can, but they could strike me. It's their content. It just depends. Oh, that's right. Elvis has been on my panel and been really nasty. And there's and how many times have I kicked him off my panel for talking disgusting shit? A lot. Yes, yeah, Jason. Yep, that's right. Elvis has. Yep. And, and usually you do nip it in the bud. You know, like when I was on with him, he didn't really talk. This is strictly you talking bad with other women, talking very sexual, deviant, like, and there's a whole channel devoted to that. But that's the channel that keeps hiding itself. Well, it'll post, rare. then it hides. Well, in so that's years, why it, in the last four years, it's probably happened half a dozen times, but it isn't it can't go that lengthy. So I generally nip it in the butt and get it off my channel because I don't talk like that. Yeah. I don't talk six sexual shit. But it does happen from time to time. You get people on your panel and fucking they start talking about, you know, crazy shit. And before you know it, you're just like, you know, you get people up here like Blue Waffles and he'd like, don't look up Blue Waffles. And the next thing you know, everyone's going, well, don't look up Dirty Sanchez and don't look up Cleveland Steamer. There's that kind of shit. Mm. No, but this is strictly just, with women and you guys are discussing other women's bodies. 
I would want to fucking see that channel then. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, I am, they, but I know they, Later Babes has a good example of it. Later Babes has a. a I don't know if yeah, you, you, you can type it in. Like there's a hundred videos of this, and there ain't. On this channel, there's a lot of there's a lot, but I can't. It's hidden. That's why I need them to unhide it and keep, let me get a couple days watch time so you can see this, so you can see what's if it's true or not. But it's they are similar to the Later Babes format. No, oh, it's been highly clipped. I don't know. What's this? Did you find the channel or no? Trigger warning. Uh, the fishermen and life perplexed discuss incident. It's 12 minutes. Okay. That might be it. Somebody found it. Oh, okay. Let's play it. If it's your content, you can, and they try to strike you, you can fight it. Because they clipped all your stuff, so. And I do believe the live is still listed active on the on your channel, one of your videos below. Well, people just go watch it. I'm not gonna put the I'm not gonna put disgusting content up on my channel. It's already on your channel. Yeah, I know, but then it's gonna be on this fucking video. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. I get you. I get you. As recent, okay, okay. So why would I put disgusting content on my shit again? I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. But there's the link. You can go watch it. I sub the channel so I can go back and look through their shit. Thanks, Juju. But yeah, Elvis has done a lot of shit on my channel. That's easy. Yeah. But usually nip that in the bud too, you know? Well, so. not all times. Sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. Because sometimes there's other people in the panel that are egging them on to go more, go more, go more. And it gets really gross and it's just like, fuck this. So, but we, plus we've been on for two hours and normally I only stay on for two hours. Mm, okay. Well, we had a couple little things to talk about. So I really wanted to get that out. You know what I mean? I don't want people to feel alone if they're in rough times. I don't want people to settle for bad behavior and relationships. Like I said, if the man or woman is not ride or die for you, don't be ride or die for them. I agree. Totally. And if they get upset because you have opinions, there's a million people out there. there this world is huge. There's a million men and a million women. Be happy. Guys, we only live this life once and we're not promised tomorrow. None of us are. It doesn't matter how much money we have, the great jobs, the beautiful cars, you know. We're not promised tomorrow. So I will leave you like that. All right, well, Juju, well, Juju, <laughs> Ju -Ju, you're sweet. Yeah, um, you know, people have different words to use and they're, I haven't been, I've been treated pretty badly because of my strong opinion for something, so. But uh, I yeah. hope your class is doing good, Juju. I think she said she quit it. She stopped doing it. Mm. So, so what I'll do is I'll kill it and I'll go listen to that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we already talked about. about, we talked about that one already. Remember, we had a, we talked about that privately, so. Well, yeah, um, but. You, but we couldn't saying, find the video. Yeah, I just right, want you to listen saying, to the video as a reminder. Really bad. You're saying it's really bad, so I'm going to yes, listen to it yeah. see how bad it really is. Yeah. Plus, and I, I just normally, think, oh, go ahead. I just think that an apology is in order. You know, I just, just I apologize in this video too. Okay, her. okay, okay. Just make it sure. Just and not that I made you apologize either. It's just maybe you know I'm not going to make any excuses for what was said. You know, I just all yeah. women are beautiful. All bodies are beautiful, and that's it. It's just the trolls that come after me. I have to attack back, guys. So, <laughs> but it was nice meeting all of you guys. Thank you for having me, and I will talk to you guys whenever. <laughs> yeah, later. Good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> okay, babe. Good night.